Is mealtime with your child a constant struggle? Do you want to provide your child with healthy meals but find that life is just too hectic to cook them all the time? Mama, I get it. I've recently looked into healthy meal delivery for my toddler and have been absolutely loving it. So in this video, I'm sharing my honest opinions about Little Spoon Plates and Nurture Life, which are two healthy meal delivery services for kids. If you're new to my channel, my name's Jess. I'm a former early childhood teacher and mom to a one-year-old little boy named Luke. My mission for the Innovative Mama is to help moms of little ones navigate the world of early motherhood by providing helpful videos, honest reviews of products that make momming a little easier, and educational activities for young children. So if you're interested in joining me on this journey of motherhood, then I'd love it if you'd click that subscribe button along with the notification bell so that you never miss an upload. So we've tried both Little Spoon Plates and Nurture Life for our 12 month old son. I recently did a review on Little Spoon Plates, which you could check out after this. But the purpose of this video is to compare the details of both meal delivery services so you could decide which one would be the best for your family. This video is not sponsored and all opinions are my own honest thoughts about each meal delivery service. I will leave links to each service in the description box so you can check them out after the video. So let's learn a little more about Little Spoon Plates and Nurture Life. So first let's talk age groups. So Little Spoon actually started doing plant-based baby purees. So I had never tried these for my son. I got into the meal delivery after he was a little older and was eating solid foods. So recently Little Spoon came out with their plates menu, which are meals for babies starting out with finger food, all the way up to big kids up to 10 years old, they say on the website. So with Little Spoon plates, there is only one portion size for the plates, no matter how old your child is, even if they're a baby or a big kid. With Nurture Life, you have four different size portions to choose from. So you have a baby, which is from 10 to 24 months, and these come in little jars, and the food is chopped up into little bits. So think like finger food size for babies that are just getting into solids. And then you have a toddler size meal, which is for kids one to four years old, kids size, which is intended for kids five to 12 years of age. And then they even have teen and adult meals for teens 13 years and older, all the way up to adults. So with Nurture Life, depending on the age group, they're portioned out with the right nutrients for each stage of development, which is pretty cool. So both Little Spoon and Nurture Life came delivered in cardboard boxes, which were packed with these giant ice packs to keep the meals fresh and cold. They arrive fresh, not frozen, but refrigerated, and then you're supposed to put them in the fridge right upon receipt. With Little Spoon, they have a fresh lock seal that keeps the meals fresh in the fridge for up to 14 days or in the freezer for up to two months. Little Spoon plates are recyclable, reusable plates. They are top rack dish dishwasher safe, which is really cool. And I think Little Spoon is in the middle of launching a plates send back program. So you could send back the plates as a um, recycling initiative, which is really, really cool. I love that. The plates are BPA, BPS free, they're microwave safe and non-toxic. Each package comes with a recommended cooking method on the back. So either in the microwave or a toaster oven or conventional oven. However, you could cook each meal however you want. So a lot of times we will just microwave our meals. They are ready super, super fast. I think it's 60 to 90 seconds in the microwave. So Nurture Life comes in different containers depending on what meal you get. So for our first order, because my son is 12 months, we decided to get some of the baby food and some of the toddler food so we could kind of test out each. So the baby food comes in these little plastic jars. And like I said, everything is in bite-sized little tiny pieces. So you don't have to do anything. You just transfer it to a plate and heat it up in the microwave. With the toddler meals, you just poke a hole in the film and put it in the microwave. Or I think you can transfer it and put it in the conventional oven as well. All of their packaging is recyclable, food grade plastic, BPA, PVC, and phthalate free. With Nurture Life, the food lasts six to seven days in the fridge, depending on on the delivery date of your food. Each of their packages has a use by date stamped on it or on a sticker, which is really cool because it takes the thinking out of it. So it tells you when you have to use it by. You can freeze the Nurture Life meals for up to 90 days if they're placed in there before the date that's stamped on the meal. 
So let's talk ingredients because this is a super important aspect and one of the reasons I looked into meal delivery service in the first place for my son was because I wanted to be able to feed him healthy food more often when I didn't necessarily have the time to cook a full blown meal. I wanted something quick but still healthy at the same time. So both companies use antibiotic free proteins and organic produce which I love. Both incorporate hidden vegetables in their meals. So for example I think both companies have some sort of version of macaroni and cheese with like hidden butternut squash in it. One feature of Nurture Life is that they do specifically have registered pediatric dietitians that they work with to calculate the precise measurements of nutrients in each meal. Overall, when it comes to ingredients, both companies seem pretty comparable. Like I said, they both have antibiotic free proteins and organic produce. So when it comes to ingredients, I think that they're pretty similar. By the way, have you used a meal delivery service for your kids before? If so, definitely let us know in the comments which one you've used or why you're looking to try one now. Also, if you're finding this video to be helpful so far, then please give that thumbs up button a quick click. So when it comes to price and packages of each company, this is probably where the companies differ the most. So right now, Little Spoon has four different plans. So you can choose between four, six, nine, or 12 meals per week. Their plates meals range in price from $6.49 a meal to $4.99 a meal, depending on how many you buy. If you buy 12 meals a week, it's $4.99. If you buy the four meals a week, it's $6.49 a meal. So the more you buy, the more you save. Shipping with Little Spoon is a flat $6, no matter where you're getting your meal shipped to or how many you buy. And Little Spoon ships their meals two weeks at a time. So you get your meals every other week, not every week. You can also go into your profile and customize the meal based on your child's likes or dislikes or any dietary restrictions that your child may have. So Nurture Life is a la carte, but you must place a minimum order of $39 to receive meals. Another way Nurture Life differs is that they are priced by meals, not necessarily how much you buy, but you do get a discount, which I'll talk about in a second. But right now they're finger food, so they're baby food is $6.89 per meal. Their toddler meals are $7.99. Kid meals are $8.99. And teen and adult meals are $10.99. Shipping wise, it is an $8 fee or you get free shipping with orders $59 or more. They also give you discounts on your entire order the more that you spend. So if you spend $79, you get 5% off your entire order plus free shipping. And if you spend $99, then you get 10% off your entire order plus free shipping. And then the Nurture Life meals ship every week. So when it comes to flexibility and choices, you can choose meals with both based on your child's likes or dislikes or any dietary restrictions they may have. Little Spoon Plates currently has 20 options to choose from. And then with Nurture Life, the baby foods, there are 11 options. And then the toddler, kid, and teen meals, there's 23 options. And I believe they're all the same options, but they just change in portion size, depending on your child's age. Nurture Life also has some shareable meals, which are, I believe, two servings per meal. So you can go in and pick if you you wanted to like build something a little more family style, they have that option as well. There is no commitment with either plan. So even though both of them are subscription services, you can cancel your membership at any time or pause at any time. So that's really a cool feature. I've done that a couple times already. Um, I switch back and forth between the two. So that's a really cool feature. They're super flexible when it comes to that. When it comes to taste, both are great. I've tried everything that I've given my son just to taste it. My son definitely loves both. And if you don't believe me, you can check out the proof right here. So definitely check out the links below to try Little Spoon and Nurture Life. For even more helpful videos for navigating motherhood, make sure you click that subscribe button and join our YouTube family. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it to be helpful and be sure to comment below if you've tried either of these meal delivery services for kids or 
any others, and let us know what your biggest mealtime struggle is. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.